Hi guys, I got the request to do a video on installing custom scenery and though I didn't want to do it at first because there are already many videos on this subject, I decided that I would do it and actually make this a very detailed video explaining many things involving the process and not just saying okay you need to install it here and here. So what, I, what I'd like to talk about first is something that I haven't really seen anybody talk about yet. It's where you actually get your custom scenery because there are many ways you can get it and I just want to kind of show you around the many sites and things that I usually use. So my favorite thing to do is just to go to the custom scenery depot. It's this site over here customscenerydepot.com. I will add the links to all the sites that I'm going to in the description so you can always check that out. And this is by far my favorite site. Pretty much nearly everything I think is on this site. There are a couple of um, authors of, of, well, creators of custom scenery who don't post it on this site. But yeah, that's actually something that I like about this. The creator of a custom scenery usually posts his own custom scenery over here. And this is a very popular site. As you can see, the main page kind of just shows off the, ver the most popular recently released sets. So that's always something to check out. And when you go to the downloads section over here, you can actually find everything, not just custom scenery, but also all of that other jazz. But of course, we'd like to have some custom scenery. So when you go there, you're going to get this window. And though this might be kind of frustrating at first because there's so many things and quite a few of them are actually not something that you'd want. So I usually just go to search button and then just turn on Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 custom scenery. And let's say, for example, that I am looking for Shy Guys Alpine Village then I would just want to look for an Alpine Village set and please bear with me with my terrible typing because I'm kind of typing in a very weird fashion because this pop filter is in front of my arms and there you go so now you get all of these Alpine Village sets and that's, this is pretty much everything you need you can download nearly every set from this site we're gonna look at um, well finding custom scenery with Google later on and you'll find that many of the custom scenery links that you'll find on Google are also referring to this site now, if you don't like this system, they've still got a different one, which is also very handy. It's called the CS list. It's over here. And if you click on it, you get this enormous, um, well, it's not really the list yet. So we'd like to go to CSO, which is which also stands for Custom Scenery Objects. Uh, a, more co a more common, well, abbreviation of it is CS, but you'll see many people using CSO as well. So if we go to there, then you'll find this list. And it's pretty much it's pretty much the alphabet. And once you click on a letter, let's, let's say for example B, you get all of the sets that people have submitted to this website that start with a B. Now, as you can see, this is a whole lot of sets. This is crazy. You can't really find anything with this. So what I would usually do is, for example, I'll, I'll well, let's take uh, Alpine Village again. I like to find Alpine Village, so I'll click on the A, and then just press Control F to get that Alpine out there and then as soon as we do that you can find all of the Alpine words within this file so there we go that's all of the Alpine village sets and then if you go here you can find well the content is always just a small summary of what it is location is just where it is so where you can find it in game so that's very handy information and there are pictures but more often than, than not, they are not actually there or they're not working. So that doesn't really matter. And then when you go to the download, you get referred back to the download of the Custom Scenery Depot. So it's essentially the same site. It just has a different way of kind of working around it. Now, something that other people suggest that I am actually not a fan of is using RCT Go. Because as you can see, rctgo.com is this website that has a forum, but it also has a download section. Now the problem that I have with this is it allows everyone to upload anything and the problem with that is that more often than not you're going to have people who aren't the actual creators of custom scenery who submit custom scenery to the site. I've actually seen someone submit my unfinished custom scenery sets to this site without me actually knowing it. So that kind of happens. It's somewhat unorganized and it's not moderated very well if it's moderated at all. So. I'm not a fan of it um, when it comes to that, but sometimes you'll be able to find sets on this site that you couldn't find anywhere else. So let's say for example that I want Alpine Village again. I'm just going to look for Alpine and just going to click Custom Scenery. Um, normally all of these things are ticked, so if you only want Custom Scenery then I'd say just de-click all of those things. So let's search for Downloads and see what we get. We don't even get anything. Isn't that amazing? 
uh, what if we turn actually everything on? There might just not be a download for it on this website. As you can see, there are plenty of other things, so it's probably not on this website. That's what I think. So let's see, for example, we steel jungle. There should be steel jungle. Oh yeah, there you go. So somebody actually did upload steel jungle, but there you go. It's called Moby Steel Jungle, but it's uploaded under the name of Moby Steel Jungle over here. So this is, uh, well, two better downloads. So as you can see, it's quite unorganized, but sometimes you'll be able to find sets that you couldn't find elsewhere on this site. So if you really have no other choice, then you might still want to look at it, but I don't recommend it. Now the third site is RCTDB. They have a lot of downloads of custom scenery. The only problem with this site is when they started it, they had the idea to make one uh, very handy and well, just with a nice layout site that everyone can use to find anything in Roller Coaster Second 3. The only problem with it, it's kind of outdated at the moment. As you can see, the last thing they posted, or it's not really the last thing, but yeah, they kind of ended the shit in 2012. So it's kind of outdated when it comes to that. However, most of the downloads still work and you'll probably be able to find many of the sets that you need over here. And I don't know if they've got Alpine Village on this site. They might just have it though. Uh, let me see, no, there's not too much on it. Uh, usually I find that this set is a bit better for CTRs because it also has that stuff. But there's some custom scenery on this, set, on this site as you can see. Now the last site that I would want to talk about, and this is only for old custom scenery sets. And the, basically, sometimes you'll ask somebody what a certain custom scenery set is, and it turns out that the custom scenery set is just gone everywhere. I've had that multiple times. Like some custom scenery sets have been on old sites, but the sites have disappeared, or the download links aren't working anymore in, in one way or another. But the thing is, this is a very old site, but it's still on and most of the downloads are actually still working. So if you're looking for a very old site, that um, very old set that barely anyone has anymore, then I'd say that this uh, site is pretty much your best bet. I know that I've had this one set which was called ACNS pa Pavement Essentials, and at some t uh, wait, go away. Oh uh, no, I want you to go away. Okay, so thank you. So at some point, there wasn't actually, um, the Pavement Essentials weren't actually on the custom scenery depot but they were still on this site and I know that many sets on this site are quite unique to this site too if you really want to pick this stuff up it's pretty old and it's somewhat outdated but sometimes it's really handy so that's also something now the last thing of course is just Google if you really can't find something it's always just a good idea to Google it so let's Google Shy Guys Alpine Village and you'll get multiple sites and my video over there oh, I'm sorry Sorry about that. So, and as you as you see, you also find the custom scenery depot. So it really seems like this is the best place to get your custom scenery, and that's also what I'd say. Now, let's say for example that we want to install the set. So now we're going to actually install things, and yeah, I'm sorry about taking so long for this, but I want to explain absolutely everything. Now you'll see that you get this kind of file, which is a zip file, which most Windows 7 computers will be able to open on its own. So we'll get into the SAT and find all that stuff over here, and it's unnecessarily complicated and all that. But sometimes you'll get sets that don't have that. So let's say, for example, I know that Station Gym has those sets which are packed in a different kind of compressive format. So let's see that, um, I think it's this one. Yeah, let me download this. Okay, so as you can see, it didn't actually download in a zip file. And this is a RAR file, and you're not able to open RAR files with Windows if you don't have a program to open it. Many people use WinRAR, which is actually a program that you're supposed to pay, to pay for, but you're pretty easily, um, well, you, you can get around that without even cracking it. It's quite a stupid thing. But what I always like to use is a program called 7-Zip. And it's a very easy and small program. It's free to download. So uh, let me just get this here. Uh, you don't quite want to get the beta. It's OK to get it. But it's just more stable to not get the beta one. And then just download the .exe downloader. And you'll go to SourceForge, which is something that's quite annoying. And it's yeah just in general fuck them but it's not that bad so we get that download and we open that 
and we're just going to install 7-zip and let them just do that and thankfully this this because with most most free programs they always go like okay you're gonna get this toolbar and you're gonna, gonna get this malware and all that but thankfully 7-zip doesn't do that all you have to do is just let that thing install itself then you're pretty much done with that and as long as that, that thing doesn't freeze you're pretty good to go so let's go back to our download, download section over here um, no wait I'm completely lost come on let me let me go back to this thing this thing okay so now we can open this file and as you'll see it's very similar to the shy guys alpine village set in the way that it looks that you get this folder and let me remove this this isn't necessary I need 7-zip so basically what you'll get is a folder or two folders because this shared folder is something that you don't need to pay attention to uh, with a style.common and a style.unique OVL and a either a mix a mis misc or the name of the set folder now basically this folder so that would be the misc folder for this one and the alpine village set folder for that one contains all of the objects within the set but this style.common and style.unique actually contains the theme that you need to open the set so basically you need to go back one folder and install that now what some people do is they're gonna go back and actually extract this and then you'll get a folder within a folder and then this style common and style unique thing and that's not something you want that's when you're gonna get errors in the game a very common error in the game is the no SVD for SID or it's reversed I always forget that and you can basically avoid that by just installing this folder instead of installing this and then having a folder inside of that and then the folder with the style.common and style.unique so I'll show how to install this with a zip file if you're on Windows 7 and you can open the file without 7-zip all you need to do is just copy it and go to program files and if you're on a 64-bit computer you're gonna have to go to program files x86 and then you're gonna have to go to Atari Rollercoast Tycoon 3 and then to style themed and then you're going to paste it in there so that's that now I already have that so I don't need to actually paste it but that's what you basically need to do and if you're inside 7-zip you're gonna have to say extract now my 7-zip is Dutch but this little minus sign says extract and you're going to browse and it's going to be in the exact same manner it's just going to be inside this little window but you're gonna go to the same place gonna go to program files Atari Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 and style themed let me find that yes thank you very much and they are just going to extract it like that and of course I've already got this so I don't want to actually say yes to that so that's basically how you install custom scenery sets and where you need to find them so n now let's look in game and see what we've got Okay, so Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 is all loaded up now, so let's look in walls and actually see what we've got. So let's scroll down to Shy Guys Alpine Village, and there we go. There is the Alpine Village set. And now you should be able to open it without any errors and without not being able to find it. And sometimes you will notice that um, m not all of the custom scenery sets are actually in walls. And it really depends on the sets. Most of the times the custom scenery creators are so friendly to actually put them in the corresponding um, theme. So you'll actually find that many of the sci-fi custom scenery sets are also in the sci-fi theme as you can see. So I've got all these science fiction stuff that is actually in the sci-fi theme. And if I go to Spooky, you'll also find that many of Station Jim's Spooky sets are actually in this theme as well. And you'll also be able to find that most of these sets actually consist of pieces to build buildings. And if you go to Objects, most of the custom scenery sets are actually custom scenery sets that um, contain objects. And obviously, if you go to Foliage, pretty much all of the Foliage sets are actually in Foliage. So that's how that works. And if you open custom scenery, you're pretty much able to do with it whatever you can do with in-game scenery you're able to place it and do with it whatever you want with mu with one major difference or a, a couple at least usually in-game sets are only uh, you can only place them on the grid and you can kind of pl place these off grid as well and these don't stack the way um, in-game things work so you can actually intersect them so yeah that's all there is to this tutorial 
Hope you've learned something and enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Bye. <clears throat>